Hello, Sports Mockery fans. My name is Aldo Soto, and I'm back with some big White Sox news. They signed another international prospect from Cuba. Before we get into those details, make sure to support Sports Mockery by subscribing to us here on YouTube so you don't miss out on any of our breaking news coverage, rumor talk, and daily gambling content. You can also check out the website, sportsmockery.com, for all the latest news on the White Sox, Cubs, Bears, Bulls, and Blackhawks, and even more gambling content. This video is brought to you by our good friends at the Willem Hill Sportsbook. Uh, make sure to download the Willem Hill Sportsbook and Illinois betting app. And if you click on the link uh, in the description, uh, you can sign up and claim a $300 risk-free bet at the Willem Hill Sportsbook. Uh, make sure to sign up using the promo code MOCKERY300. And again, pretty easy. All you have to do is head on over, click on the link in the description. You're going to get to the Willem Hill Sportsbook and Illinois website. Sign up, create your account, download the Willem Hill Sportsbook in Illinois betting app, and you automatically claim a risk-free a risk free bet worth up to $300. Take advantage today. Again, sign up using the promo code MOCKERY300. All right, so uh, some big White Sox news here. It's not official, but I mean, all, we've basically got multiple uh, sources here saying this. Uh, the White Sox are going to sign the number one ranked prospect, uh, the number one international ranked prospect on MLB Pipeline, uh, Yoelki Suspedes, and that is the he is the younger brother of Yoenis Suspedes. Um, first, we had James Fox from Future Sox reporting uh, the news on Tuesday, uh, and then uh, an hour or so later, uh, MLB.com's Jesse Sanchez uh, confirmed it. Uh, also, citing some sources that the White Sox will indeed sign uh, Uelki Suspedes, uh, and that's going to be expected to become official uh, when this next international signing period becomes official, uh, and then it opens up, and that's January 15th, 2021. Um, you know, all the, but, you know, the reports indicate that uh, Suspedes will get uh, about a $2 million signing bonus from the White Sox. Um, now, uh, Uelki is different from uh, some of the international prospects that, uh, you know, you kind of hear in these lists. You know, you, when you think of international prospects coming from uh, from Latin America, you think of, you know, guys still 16, 17, 18 years old. Uh, but Uelki, he's 23. Uh, he, you know, he's played uh, he's played uh, professionally for a few years in, uh, in Cuba. Uh, he's played, uh, he's appeared in the World Baseball Classic. Um, and, you know, he's been training, he's been training with his brother uh, in the Bahamas, uh, you know, and uh, at 23, you know, seems like a huge muscly guy because, you know, he's only five foot nine, uh, you know, 203 pounds. Uh, we got like a mini scouting report saying that, like, since he's been training the past few years, you know, he's put on like 15 pounds of muscle. Uh, so, you know, at first uh, while playing in Cuba, uh, you look, he was known as, uh, you know, a line drive hitter, good speed. Um, but now maybe he has a little more power in that bat, and uh, I guess I saw the uh, phrase, you know, explosive bat speed, a uh, bat speed, which is always nice to see. Um, you can see some video. We'll drop it in this uh, in this little section here of his swing. Um, again, five foot nine, uh, two hundred three pounds. Uh, his uh, all his uh, skill sets, like you know the. Uh, at the 80 range uh, uh, grades that they use, you know, he's in the 55, 60 range. So, you know, talk about a pretty good, uh, pretty good prospect here. Um, and again, at 23, uh, how far away is he to be, to, you know, coming over and being part of the White Sox lineup? Maybe a year or two. Um, you know, uh, James Fox, who broke the news initially, initially, uh, you know, was asked like, would, would he, would Uelki start at Double A? Uh, and he said, yeah, you know, he'll probably, he needs, he definitely needs some seasoning, so he'll, you know, probably start out at a Double A in 2021, uh, and then you know, go from there. We've seen quick promotions from the, from the other highly ranked uh, White Sox prospects in, uh, in the past. You know, probably still takes him like a year though. Um, uh, but again, the White Sox showing showing off their uh, muscles here, uh, signing signing the top tier uh, Cuban uh, international prospects here, and they get another one. I mean, we've seen their their track re record here with you know getting a Brayu, getting Luis Robert, uh, 2019, I think it was uh, Gilbert Sanchez. Um, so yeah, they they just have that pipeline uh, to to Cuban prospects, and uh, it seems like. 
any top guy, they're, they're going to be a favorite to sign them. Um, again, I uh, probably plays the outfield. And um, I guess, uh, you know, uh, one of my co-hosts from the Pinwheel Zanavi podcast, Matt Zawoski, you can follow him on Twitter at Southside Zoe. He immediately brought up, you know, the Adam Eaton one-year deal. Maybe that makes more sense now. Uh, you know, if you had in mind that you were going to get Yolki Suspedes, and it's like, all right, you know what? We think this guy's going to be the future right fielder. You probably only wanted, uh, you know, you wanted that short-term uh, fix in right field, and then you can just transition to your uh, to your young to your other young Cuban outfielder there. Um, and again, you know, Adam Eaton's deal has uh, it's a one-year guarantee. He has an option for 2022, but you know, that's most likely not going to. It's probably not going to get picked up by the Sox there. Um, and then the other question in regards to this signing is: so are the Sox? Do the ha- the Sox have enough money now for Oscar Colas? Uh, and if you remember that name, the Sox were tied with him for, for several months um, before you know this this signing period for international prospects was moved because of the COVID nineteen pandemic. So, you know, normally the we see the international prospects start to sign uh, during the summer, you know, just normally like June 2nd, but the deadline was moved, uh, or the signing period was moved until January 15th, 2021. And then the next signing period is probably going to be pushed back to January 15th, uh, 2022. Uh, but, you know, but before going to this past summer or this past year, you know, all the, uh, there are several reports, you know, Sox could be, uh, could be a contender to sign Oscar Colas, who's been called uh, the Cuban Otani. Uh, you know, guy who's played all outfield positions. Uh, he can pitch as well. Uh, he's even, I think he's even played some infield. Um, so he's like obviously a hot, hot guy in the market there. But now, you know, can they afford him? Uh, that kind of seems iffy. Uh, the thing with the international period for this, you know, for this time in MLB is. Uh, you know, a lot of teams, they've used up that money. They've used up their international free agent money. Um, so, uh, you know, for a guy like Colas, is there really a team that can offer him a big bonus right now? This seems kind of iffy. Um, he could wait. He could wait until 2022 to sign. But, man, that's that's losing a whole year there. I don't know if he wants to do that. Um, but I guess if you are a White Sox fan, that's what you're hoping for right now is, uh, you know, hey, man, just wait one more year and we got you. Um, but if not, you know, obviously getting uh, getting you Uelke suspects right now and giving him that $2 million bonus that takes a big portion of uh, the international free agent money for the White Sox. So it's unlikely at this point that if um, that if Colas does sign uh, in 2021 that it will be with the White Sox, but we'll see. I guess he could. There is a chance that he, that Colas does wait uh, until 2022 and then, you know, the White Sox can be can become a favorite again to get him. Um, but you all, Guy what do you guys think? Uh, you know, future right fielder here? Um, the White Sox. The White Sox can feature a lineup of, uh, you know, one through five. It can be all Cuban players. Um, so, you know, great for the White Sox. Another good signing again. Uh, MLB Pipeline has Cespedes ranked as the number one international free agent. Uh, you know, Baseball America has him 12. Fangraphs a little lower, like in the 30 range. But Fangraph, Fangraphs list also includes uh, some of the Asian players. Um, so, you know, if you take those away, because some of these other lists don't. Uh, you know, Cespedes range is like in the like 25th, 25th spot there. So, you know, we're still talking about a guy who, you know, some guy, obviously MLB Pipeline ranked him number one. Read the love him. Um, uh, Baseball America, a little lower in the 12 range, and then Fangraphs even a little lower there. So big range here, you know, maybe, but, you know, I guess you could say he does have that uh, that pedigree we've seen with Ioannis Cespedes. He can be a star. Uh, you know, obviously Ioannis had his injury troubles, uh, like, throughout his career, and especially, like, especially his last uh, stint here with the New York Mets. But, you know, that star potential is definitely there, uh, but uh, we'll see. Uh, again, this is reported by James Fox and uh, Jesse Sanchez. Uh, obviously, the team hasn't made that official, but the but it's expected to become official when uh, these international free agents can sign, and that is until January 15th, 2021. But, uh, yeah, you can expect that uh, in a few weeks here now. Uh, Yoelki Suspet is the new... The new is going to be the new highly ranked. I guess he's not going to be number one, but you know, one of the new highly ranked prospects for the White Sox coming in in 2022.
2021. Let us know what you think of the signing. Do you like it? Do you think he's going to be the future right fielder? Uh, you know, do you think he follows in his brother's footsteps? Do you think he meets that star potential? A lot of questions here at 23. How long do you think it, it takes for him to come up? Do you think he just rises right up through the uh, minor league system for the White Sox? Again, he's expected to start at double A in 2021. Um, but we'll see. Exciting times for the White Sox here. Just another another solid signing. More positive news. Uh, leave a comment. Turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any of our latest coverage. Again, my name is Aldo Soto. Until next time, have a good one. And remember, if you want a $300 risk-free bet, click on the link in the description for the William Hill Sportsbook in Illinois.